I made a video on a lot of custom rooms and I think so I haven't made a video yet on this custom room. The custom room I am talking about in this video is Awaken OS. Yes, I revealed it just earlier right now. This is Awaken OS and maybe one of the most underrated custom rooms. I don't know why but because maybe it's not officially available for most of the devices. But if it is unofficially available, you can give it a try. I'm not saying it's best. I'm not saying it's worse. It's good enough in my opinion because I tried this custom room maybe the first time i have used this custom room on my device i'm talking about the version android 13 awaken with version 3.3 yes it was existed with android 12.1 also this custom room is giving you pixel goodies i mean pixel launcher pre-installed by default with some developer options which are already enabled although it's totally up to you if you want to change this default launcher if you're not satisfied with this pixel launcher you can simply change it we have many other custom launcher options available if you move on to the quick settings panel as you already know the light quick settings panel background looks good in light mode so if you're using light mode and want to see this light quick settings panel then plus one for this custom room awaken os is quite good in the terms of quick settings ui although a lot of quick setting options are available you can simply one click to add or remove tile i mean you don't need to hold and drag and drop it's very easy to and use any tile i mean add any tile or remove any tile from the quick settings panel also one more thing if we move on to the notification section here you have the option to customize a heads up notification i mean scanner heads up which means you can quickly disable heads up for other apps and those will be only enabled for the phone app and messaging app i mean the less boring heads up option this is the kind of thing which is available this one does not give you major customizations by the way like rise droid or maybe evolution xos those customers are giving you a lot of customizations but this will not but it is still having all the useful features which you need in your device as your daily driver for example if you move on to the battery indicator i mean status bar customizations or maybe the battery related settings you'll be able to customize the battery indicator you can use the battery style to circle dotted circle or even customize the battery percentage so i mean useful things are present the things which you need in your device as your daily driver also the battery uses stats are also available from the last full charge instead of the last 24 hours one more thing if i move on to the sound and vibration options you'll be able to see that you can customize you can customize the intensity of vibration so this is good i mean in pixel devices most of the times you have the option to turn off the touch feedback or turn on that but here you can even adjust the intensity so it's quite good it also has option to see this you can see you can see the option named as in call notifications this is good i mean if you want to receive the notifications while you are in call so that's good if you don't want that you can simply turn off this option that's quite interesting one display give you some options related to fonts customizations although these fonts might not be applied system wide i think so but things are still good in display by the way you have some display customizations i mean you have the option to customize your clock settings where you can enable the seconds option some quick settings customization data usage some icons customizations where you don't have the volty and the wi-fi indicator by the way if you were looking for the volty icon or wi-fi Wi-Fi icon in the status bar that's not present so keep this thing in your mind by the way it's not a big deal it's good in some cases but it's not hidden apps option is good i mean it's it's having pixel launcher pre-installed and you have the option to hide the app so that's good also you can hide the third party apps you can hide the system apps both of these options are available so this is quite good this is quite interesting one lock screen it's not giving you major customizations but it is having the option for double tap to sleep and edge lighting these options are present but else things are the same like some gestures option which are mostly available in every customer i mean all of the custom homes but this is quite good hide ime button space this is one of my favorite features and it's present playback control and for advanced restart options options are there all the useful features which you need in your device as your daily driver all those options are present awaken os is there and if you want to install the official version if it is available officially for your device you can install that version if it is available unofficially for your device you can install that one too you can simply give it a try if you love this thing you will you will be able to use this thing for some days some time but if you don't want to install this thing you can simply ignore this it's totally up to you check out your device community if you want to use this thing and yes this is all from today's short and simple video don't forget to like and share this and also don't forget to subscribe the channel goodbye